Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Anastasia Creations. So many of you have been asking me to create a step-by-step -step portrait drawing tutorial using Adobe Illustrator. So here I am finally creating this video for you and I hope you are as excited as I am. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a cartoon portrait drawing using your mouse and your PC only. I will be going through all the steps and all the tools I use during this tutorial, however, I will speed up the process. This video is not for someone who is just starting to use Adobe Illustrator, however, you are free to take my online course available on Skillshare for beginners. You will be able to find link under my description box. Please comment below if you like this video and I will be able to create more videos like this next time. Now let's get started with our Adobe Illustrator portrait drawing tutorial. First step, we're going to upload the photo we would like to illustrate to Adobe Illustrator and create layer one. Once you upload the picture, we're going to turn the opacity down to 70-80%, which you can see from the top bar. Lock your layer one and create layer two on top of it. And we're going to start creating some brushes. From your toolbar on the left, if you select your polygon tool and create an object holding shift and expand it horizontally. Once you created your shape with the polygon tool, we're gonna make it a little bit thinner. So I try to make it as thin as possible. So we have a much smoother brush line. And then once you done so, from um, your toolbar on the top, you just need to select brush definition and then on, from your drop down menu at the bottom you will see create a new brush once you clicked on that you will see a pop-up window and you will need to select create an add brush and just click ok and then you will have another pop-up window and we just don't change anything and we press ok once you have created your brush select your brush tool uh, from the left toolbox and then uh, don't forget to change your color to the straw color not the fill color and then using your brush tool try creating few lines to see if it's working and then you can also play around with the with profile of your brush and then once you completed everything what we're gonna do we're gonna outline all the facial details from the photo and making sure that we draw our hair also all black so we're gonna outline the eyes lips nose eyebrows ears and then your hair total black in this video tutorial i'm gonna explain all the steps and i'm gonna speed up the process
Once you have completed outlining your illustration, the next step we're going to do, we're going to create a second copy of your layer 2. What we're going to do next, we're going to select everything, go to object and then click expand appearance. Then uh, select everything again, go back to object and press expand. And then with your Pathfinder tool, we're going to merge everything. So in order to create your layer 2 copy, what we're going to do, we're going to click on the layer 2 and drag to create a new layer. So just make sure that your layer 2 copy is on top of your layer 2. And then don't forget to remove visibility for your layer 1 so it's not distracting you. Then the next step, what we're going to do, we're going to create a basic color for our illustration. So we're going to select a skin color. I already have some presets. Of, um, ready for my illustration so you can just create your own and select any color you like. Once you have selected your skin color that you're gonna use uh, then we're gonna select our shape so I'm gonna use a rectangular shape and we're just gonna create a shape behind our layer 2 so then it means everything will be covered in one single color and then we will be able to change it so if you draw an object just to cover our artwork and then right click on your mouse select to send back the color then the next step we're going to select everything together go to object and click expand and then again select everything together and press merge with your pathfinder tool once you have done so, with your right click, uh, you need to select Isolate Selected Group. So once you have done so, using your uh, direct selection tool, we're going to remove the background color and then we're going to change the color for everything else. Now we're going to start working on our shadowing. So for the shadows, I have one, two, three, 
for five layers in total. So I'm gonna start with uh, some darker shade just to outline all the shadows, which you can see from the eyes, ears, and then from the neckline. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna repeat exactly the same steps for the lighter colors up to the layer eight. So just watch this tutorial and how I do my shadowing and try to repeat exactly the same step. Once you have completed your shadowing for the face, we're gonna move on to our lips and we're gonna try to create exactly the same layers for our lips, starting from the darker shade to the lighter shade. You can create as many as you like. So in my tutorial, I have exactly So in my tutorial, I have three layers for the lip shadowing and sometimes I add more just to add a little touch for the lighter color, just to give it like a gloss effect.
So once you have finished coloring your skin and your lips, we're gonna move on to the eyes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a layer 12. And don't forget that we're still drawing on the layer two copy. So we're gonna select some gray colors and then create some shadowing for the eyeballs and also create some eye color and shadow the eyes. If you want to draw a um, white circle and just give a natural kind of look for the eye, I'm gonna create uh, layer 13 which is above layer 2 copy and draw some white circles on top of the eye and then I'm gonna turn down the opacity for the bigger circle once you have completed this step we're gonna move on to drawing our hair details so I'm gonna start with the eyebrows and using um, your pencil tool just create some hairs and then we're gonna change the um, profile of the stroke So once you have completed your eyebrows, we're going to start drawing some hair details. So I'm going to choose some brown color and just create some hair shadowing too. Also, I'm always playing with opacity for the hair details and also for the eyebrows. So if it's too dark, I'm playing with opacity to make a nice a transition between the colors. Also, if you want to just create another layer on top, once you're creating a lighter color shade for your hair, you can do so. Once you have finished your hair details and hair shadowing, we're gonna move on to finish our earrings. So we're gonna just play around with the shadowing of our roses. Yeah. 